welcome to the video lecturing series of data mining and warehousing today in this video lecture we will discuss about the advanced data mining techniques and that you have to study web mining so in the second section of your sixth module you have to study about the advanced data mining technique in that web mining in web mining you have to study about web content mining web usage mining web structure mining and another topic is text mining so these are the main contents of this session today in this lecture we will discuss about web mining in that we will study how web mining is working what is mean by web usage mining web structure mining web content mining okay we will move on to the video so here in this in web mining web mining is an application of data mining technique which is used to discover pattern from world wide web so information gathered by mining the web so we will get will we will extract information from the web document and service the main purpose of web mining is to discover useful information from the world wide web and its usage pattern to in order to find the usage pattern and to get the information from world wide web we are using web mining technique and in web mining we will extract knowledge from the web data so web data is of two type web data may be either a web content or it may be a web structure if it is a web content if it is a web content the contain that may be either a text image or record etc or if it is a web structure that contain hyperlink tags etc and all so while in web mining we will mine something from a data web data this web data may be either a web content or a web structure like from a web page if you are if you are extracting something or if you are extracting an image or if you are using a hyperlink to navigate to another point another page so these are the web data that we are using in the case of web mining okay now we will see which are the main types of web mining the web mining is classified into mainly three types like one is web content mining web structure mining and web usage mining in case of web content mining it is like web page content mining is also is there and search result mining these are the two type of web content mining that means in web content mining either it is a web page or it may be a search result and in web usage mining general access pattern tracking and customized usage packing are the web usage mining types now we will discuss each each type in detail now we'll first discuss web content mining so in web content mining it is the process of extracting useful information from the content of web document so this content data correspond to the collection of information in the web page that conveys the user conveys to the user that means it contain either a text or image audio video anything will be there or a structured like records like list and tables and all so in the case of web content mining we are using the content data this content data may be either an image audio video or a list or a table uh, that will be anything like in the whatever data are there in the web document that content that we are mining so in the case of web content mining it is the process of extracting the useful information from the content of the web document so inside a web document if it is contain some image or if it contain some audio or if it contain some video extracting those information from that web page is known as web content mining so here in web content mining uh, there are two type of uh, perspective views are there one is information retrieval view information information retrieval view another is database view so these are the two type of views in the case of information retrieval view and database view these are the two types of viewing perspective in the case of web content mining 
so once again i'll repeat in case of web content mining we are extracting useful information this useful information that is uh, useful information may be anything that we are conveying to the user and it may be text image audio or a list like that next type is web structure mining in case of web structure mining is the application of discovering the structure information from the web web structure that we are mining web structure mining in case of web structure mining we are using the graph theory concept we are using our graph theory concept so how we are applying the graph theory concept here so we are finding the web structure so we can use uh, the structure of the structure of that web is represented by using a web graph a web graph and this consists of in a web page uh, the what and all will be there web pages will be there and the navigating hyperlinks hyperlinks will be there so we are using a graph theory concept in order to represent the web graph so web graph contains the nodes are web pages and hyperlinks are the edges connecting connecting related pages so you uh, you may be aware about how we can draw some uh, tree or graph and all in that we are using a web graph concept in that web graph the pages are represented as nodes and how it is navigating from one to another is shown by using the directed edge that is hyperlinks are represented using the uh, edge connecting relating pages and structure mining is basically shows a structured summary of a particular website how it is structured that is shown by using web structure mining so in case of web structure mining uh, it that we are identifying the relationship between web page uh, linked web page linked by information or direct link connection so we are considering the uh, relationship between the web page the page linked by information or a direct connection to determine the connection between two commercial website we are using the web structure mining and this uh, this type mining can be performed either at either at the intra page level or inter page level if it is an intra page level that we will call it as a document level because it is within the document and if it is in their page level we are transferring the link from one page to this is one page one this is page two and this is the hyperlink that means it is showing the direct navigation from one page to another and if that type this type of mining is performed in the in their page that is hyperlink level so once again i'll repeat in the case of a web structure mining we are finding the relationship between web pages and linked by the information so we'll using a web graph in that web graph nodes represent the uh, nodes represent the web page and uh, hyperlinks are represented uh, represented as a directed edge so this is about the web graph in the web graph director cyclic graph is there node and Uh, how the links are used to here okay now next we type is web usage mining in case of web usage mining what we will do is like it is application data mining uh, what it will do it will discover the interesting usage pattern from the web data what is the purpose of that to understand and solve the needs of the web based web based application so here it is like we are we have to find the usage pattern that usage pattern from the web data that will help us to understand the data as well as the uh, how we how the how the users are using that and what are the needs of the user in order to understand these two perspective we are using web usage mining in case of web usage mining it is a process of finding out what, what the users are looking on the internet so user identification session creation and robot detection and filtering extraction of usage path pattern these are the some techniques that we are using uh, used in web mining so in case of web mining that will help us help the user to understand what 
help help to understand how the user is using and how much priority is given for each web page uh, or how we can give suggestions suggestions for being the web pages for all those things we are using the web usage mining so web usage mining help us help the e-commerce people to personalize the marketing process so if a person is buying something every time if he is searching for the same that means from his uh, usage pattern we will be able to understand what is his need in order to serve the needs we can personalize the marketing and in order to understand the customer relationship web usage mining is mainly used for the personalization personalization process so that's all about the web usage mining now we will see what are the main application of web mining web mining help to improve the power of web search engine and it is used for used for web searching that is uh, for google yahoo etc are uh, used for web searching and next is web mining is used to predict the web behavior that we already discussed in the case of web usage mining so we can predict the user behavior in, by using the web mining and web mining is very helpful for a particular website and e service uh, for their landing page optimization so this uh, the, the main application area is to improve the web search engine and to uh, used for web searching process and uh, helps to understand the user behavior and also uh, for e services and all we are using this web mining application so that are the main applications of web mining now we will move on to next one the main challenges in web mining so these are the some challenges of web mining that is the web page the web is too huge complexity of web page web is dynamic information source diversity of user communities and relevancy of information here the first point we'll discuss about the first point here the web is actually contain a huge amount of information so web size is very huge and as well as it is rapidly increasing so this web the web is too huge that is one challenge in case of web mining so it will be difficult for us to mine and find a, a useful pattern next is complexity of web page web page do not have a unifying structure because it is contain different different uh, formats of a uh, document and all so it is very complex in nature this libraries are not arranged in the order also so that is the uh, second point in case of second challenge of web mining process and third is web is dynamic information source that we already know uh, because information on the web is rapidly updated so that is another challenge uh, one example i'll tell uh, is news stock market sports etc all those informations are updating uh, regularly or it is like rapidly changing informations are there in all those things so web is dynamic information source the next point is diversity of user community here different user communities are using this that is another advent challenges in the web mining so if many users are using it will be difficult for us to manage and all and next is relevancy of information how much relevant is the relevance is there in case of uh, in case of uh, um, web mining so in relevance of information a particular person is generally generally interested in some only small portion of data uh, that person will find that particular data as relevant for some other person one user may be find irrelevant of someone's data so relevancy of information means this relevance is depend on the personal taste for some person some data is relevant but it may be considered as irrelevant for other people so you have to consider the relevancy of information and in case of diversity of user communities uh this using com user communities growing day by day because it is commun 
community is growing rapidly and expanding and users have different background and usage patterns and all different background different interest different usage pattern and all so that is another challenges of web mining diversity of user community so uh, what are the main challenges are like web page is too high and complex web pages are there and web is dynamic information source and diversity of user community and relevance of information is based on the personal taste so these are the main points in challenges in web mining so that's all about the web mining concept and types of web mining so thank you